Telling them how naughty you are. Naughty? We're, we're, we're not naughty. Yes, you are. Staring out of the window like that at our new neighbours, it's very rude. They must think we've got very bad manners. Yeah, we're only looking because we're interested. Yes, that's all. Nosy more like. Oh, well, it's not every day new people move into the house next door, is it? Especially. A king and queen. Oh, oh, king and queen? Yes, Bunglebods. Look, look at the lady in the clothes, the clothes the lady's wearing. She must be a queen. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. All that silver on her dress. Ooh, ooh, a king and queen moving in next door to us. Our neighbours. Oh, no, they're not a king and queen. Well, well why not? Because they're not wearing crowns. Oh, dear. <laughs> not all kings and queens wear crowns. Oh, they do, do they? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, everybody knows that. Oh, oh look, they're waving to us. <laughs> there you are. I told you they were a king and queen. All kings and queens wave. I've seen it on the television. Oh, quick, back from the window. Jeffrey's coming in. <laughs> Right, where's the kettle? Oh, Jeffy, Jeffy, what do our neighbours like? They're very nice, George. Are they really a king and queen? What? A, a king and queen? I don't know, Bungle. I've no idea. I didn't ask. Have they got any children? Who if they have? Can we play with them? You can ask them in a moment, George. They're coming round to our house for a cup of tea. Oh. Royalty! Coming to tea. Biscuits. Let's get the biscuit. Ooh, and the, the chocolate cake is the chocolate cake. Oh, oh, this is exciting. A real king and queen. I hope they like us. Oh, what lovely biscuits. Yummy. No zippy. They're for the royalty. Oh. Here we are. Now, I think that's everything. Now, listen, we must make them feel at home. Oh, yes, yes, yes. you leave that to me, Jeffrey. I'll make them feel at home. Yes. I know. I'll sing to them. That should make them feel welcome. <laughs> It'll probably make them wish they'd never moved here. What do you mean? I sing very well, don't I, George? Y y we must well. try to be ourselves. You know, it can be very hard moving to a new place. If you don't know anybody. We could be their first friends here, couldn't we? Exactly, George. Yes. Oh, 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 that'll be them. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, well, listen, you two, behave. And don't start asking lots of questions. This way. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Now, George, Zippy Bungle, I'd like you to meet our new neighbours. This is Rani. Hello. And her husband, Jagnu. Hello. Been longing to meet you. We saw you watching us through the window. Oh, oh, yes. Well, well, that was George's idea, Your Majesty. No, no, it wasn't my idea. It was your idea. I'm sorry. They're just a little bit curious. Oh, yes, 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 Your Highness. We, we were wondering if you had any children, a little prince or princess, and if we could play with them. Yes, we have two children, J. Raj and Sukraj. But they're at school now. Perhaps they could come around later. 
It must be very difficult not having any friends in a new place. Oh. Oh, they could come and play in our garden, your highness. Oh, yes, uh, we could show them our trades then. <laughs> oh, your majesty. That's very kind of you. But why do you keep calling us your highness and your majesty? <laughs> Anyone would think that we were a king and a queen. <laughs> That's what they thought. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh you, you, you mean you're, you're not the king and queen? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, of course not, George. I mean, they're not wearing crowns. Yet. But you said... Yeah, well, 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 would you like some biscuits <laughs> and some chocolate cake? Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to get such a friendly welcome. Oh, that's a lovely dress you're wearing, Ronnie. That's why we thought you must be a queen. Oh. It's called a, a sari, George. It comes from a country called India. That's right. This one was sent to me by my grandmother. It's that real silver on the front. I mean, it, it looks real. Yes, it is. It was sewn on by hand. This is very expensive silk. It's my best sari. Ooh. Do you know it's all one piece of material? It's lovely and cool in the summertime and keeps me warm in the winter. Oh! <laughs> and, and that's a lovely hat, Jonah. <laughs> we thought it was a crown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does look like a hat, doesn't it? But actually, it's called a turban. Ooh. Lots of people in India wear turbans. Especially the Sikhs. The Sikhs have long hair and they wear turbans. Oh. Right, but I'll get some seats for everybody, please. All right. Come on, let's have, let's have some tea. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah. I must say, you're all very friendly. Zippy, but I don't think my tummy can take any more. That chocolate cake was delicious. Mm. Now tell me, do you both go out to work? Yes, we're actors. Uh, yeah. Actors? That's mm. right, Bungo. We perform stories. Oh, that sounds exciting. Uh, stories? Yes, in theatres and in schools. Oh, can we come and see you in the theatre? Oh, that would be wonderful. Better than that, Zippy? We could give you a special show right here. What? Here? In our own front room? Why not? If that's all right with you, Geoffrey. Yes, of course. OK, we'll go next door and get our things then. Right. Do you need any help? Thank you, Bungle. You could help carry some of our props. Props are the things we use in the stories. Right, well, we'll clear a space for you. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, clear you. everything up here, yes. <laughs> this is exciting, isn't it? There you are. I mean, I told you they'd be nice. I mean, I knew they was like us the moment they met me. Yeah. Even though I didn't sing to them. <laughs> That's probably why they liked us. <laughs> hey? uh, listen, I thought you both made them feel very much at home. You were very neighbourly. Oh, it's going to be nice having new neighbours. I can't wait for the show. This is a story about a special group of people called Sikhs who come from India. You know, you can tell a Sikh because they wear special clothes, they wear silver bracelets, and the men wear turbans. Oh, like Jagna. He was wearing a turban, wasn't he? And a bracelet. Yeah. That's right, George. Jugnu and I are both Sikhs. Now, this is an old, old story about a great Sikh leader called Guru Gobind Singh. By the way, the Indian word for a leader is a guru. Oh, oh yeah, yes, of course it is, yes, yes. Now, one day, the guru was coming back to his castle when he heard the sound of an animal. <laughs> it was a potter's donkey, 
and everyone was teasing it and being horrid to it and saying nasty things. Well, the guru felt sorry for the poor, gentle donkey, just like we do. Yes. And couldn't help thinking how people might treat it if it were a different kind of an animal. And as he got back to his castle, an idea began to take shape in his mind. What, 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 what idea? He got an old tiger skin, and then he put it on the back of the potter's donkey. Oh. Then he gently led him down to the village. Would you like to see what he looked like? Oh, yes, yes, please. OK, this is what the tiger looked like. Oh, oh dear, that's oh. a bit frightening, that is. Oh, no, no, don't worry, it's only a donkey underneath, John. Oh, no, but I'm a bit frightened of tigers. Oh, I'm not frightened of anything. Oh. <laughs> you were frightened, Zippy. It was only acting. <laughs> Ooh. Well, normally when the people of the village saw the donkey, they used to tease it and be horrid to it, didn't they? Yeah. But this time, because they, they thought they were looking at a tiger, they all screamed and ran away. They were very frightened. <laughs> well, when the donkey realised that he looked rather special because he looked like a tiger, he thought, maybe I can enjoy myself. And he looked around, he saw all the food, the carrots, the vegetables, the spinach. Oh, was the fish and chips? <laughs> oh, no, don't be silly, Zippy, it was fruit and vegetables. He filled up his tummy until he was really, really full. <laughs> he was feeling a bit lonely, so he went to visit his master, the potter. But when the potter saw what he thought was a tiger coming along, he said... Oh, help! It's a, it's a tiger! Help! Help! What, what was that, the, the potter? That's right, George, that was the potter. And he, along with all the other villagers, went to the guru and asked him to help them get rid of the tiger. Well, the guru said, all right, we'll beat the hunting drum and form a hunting party. <laughs> we'll chase the tiger into the forest. And there we'll decide what to do with him. The sound of the drums got louder and louder and closer and closer to the donkey, who got rather frightened and gave a big shout and ran off into the forest. <laughs> The villagers all ran after him, and they said, that's a rather funny noise for a tiger to make, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, he ran behind a bush, all frightened like he was. A twig, a branch caught a hold of the tiger's skin, pulled it off the donkey's back, and he came out as a potter's donkey that he really was. <laughs> the villagers all laughed and laughed and said, is this what we were frightened of, the potter's donkey? How silly we were. <laughs> the guru held up his hand and said, look, everybody, this donkey wore a tiger skin, but underneath he was really the potter's donkey himself, wasn't he? Yes. And in the same way, my Sikhs, my followers, you've got special clothes to wear. I want you to make sure that you're always brave, noble and strong like a tiger. But underneath, always make sure that you stay just as gentle as a donkey. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. That was wonderful. Can we have another one? Maybe another day. We've got to go home now. Our children will be coming home from school. Oh, yeah. well, then, then can they come round to play? Of course, Sippy. Oh, God. We'll, we'll bring your things around for you later. Thank you. Thank you. And when we are settled in a little bit, perhaps you can all come and have a special cup of Indian tea with us. Oh, oh, yeah. oh thank oh, you very much. That would be wonderful, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you at the same time. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, I like our yeah. new neighbours. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so do I. I mean, even though they aren't a king and queen, well, when we go to their house, we should put on a show for them. Oh, good idea, Zippy. Yes, sir. Then I could sing for them. Yeah. Perhaps we'd better just go for tea, Zippy. Yes. Yes, I think you're right, Bungle. That way we can stay good neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> well, time to go now, but we'll see you again soon. Take good care, won't you? Bye-bye. 
not enough, you better have four. <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty more. <laughs> That's not enough, you better have five. Uh, when you taste them, you think, oh, you was coming alive. Oh, and if that's not enough, you better have six. It won't take long for me to fix. <laughs> that's not enough, you better have seven. When you taste them, you'd think they were made in heaven. Now, if that's not enough, you better have eight. Oh, don't worry, you won't be late. If that's not enough, you better have nine. You'll be looking good, oh, feeling fine. If that's not enough, you better have ten. And if that's not enough, we could start again. <laughs> Chestnut! Get your love, Chestnut!
He'd like to fly, but he can't at all. He loves to play in the water all day. Do you know what he's Decorate the bedroom. De decorate the bedroom? You bungle. <laughs> you can't decorate. You just bungle everything. I don't, do I, George? No. Well, you are a bit clumsy sometimes, bungle. Clumsy? I like that. I'll show you I can decorate. Now, uh, oh, I'll start on this wall here. Come on, George. Now, oh, now, where's the tape measure? Oh, there it is. Now, the wall needs to be, oh, about, yes, that, that long. That, oh! oh. <laughs> Look at Bungle in oh, Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, Bungle. What's going on? Are you all right? He's getting into a mess, Jeffrey. <laughs> he fell over. <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind, Bungle. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, he says he's going to decorate the bedroom. That's right, George. I know. I think that's a very good idea. <laughs> You do? Oh, well, I think we'll just read our book, George. Come on. <laughs> right, Bungle, can I help you? Oh, thank you, Geoffrey. Right, let's get the tape measure. Because first of all, we have to measure the wall. Oh. So, make the tape nice and tight down at the bottom. There, that's it. There, that's discutting. There we are. Right, now we measure the wallpaper. Oh. So hold on to the tape. That's it. <laughs> Roll out the paper. Ready? Here we go. There. Right, this end here. That's it. Ha ha ha! Hold on to the paper bundle. <laughs> right, try again. Ready? Uh, right. there. Oh! 
You can use that as a jam bundle. Zippy, George, now like, come on, make yourselves useful. Uh, uh, Put yeah, that book uh, away and hold on to the paper. Yeah, I'll hold it, Jeffrey, I'll That's hold it. it. Right. Now, you need to cut the paper bundle, so, oh. listen, use those special little round nose scissors on the end of the table. Yes, that's right. Here you are, bungle, they're here. Oh, look, thank you, Zippy. Zippy! Yeah, Zippy. Yeah, what? You've let go of the paper now. <laughs> yeah, you have. Come on, we'll never get finished at this rate. Oh, yeah, come on, bungle, just cut it, cut oh, it. All right, then. It'll be all right, there, yeah, get yeah. there. Good, that's Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, cut your There. Oh, it's too short, yeah. and it's the wrong paper. Oh, no. Oh, Come on, let's try again. Let's get the right paper this time. Oh, here it is, Geoffrey. Oh, oh, yes, that's better, that's better. All right, roll the paper out. Oh, nice. yeah, it needs oh. to be longer, Bunker. Oh, yes, a lot longer, Zippy. Longer, yes. Yeah, Are you sure that's right? Oh, yes, it's got to be a lot longer, Geoffrey. Well, if you say so, Bunker. Oh. This is fun. That's it there, Bunko, that's it, yes. Oh, there! Done it, Geoffrey. Right. Oh, you take it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've got it right now, Bunko, it's too long. Oh, dear! <laughs> I'll have to try again. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Bunko, I'll hold the paper, and you cut it with the scissors again, down by the skirting board. Oh! Yeah, just hold the paper up. That's it, hold it up, yeah. Oh, it's a bit well, wrinkly. Don't tear it, will it? Right, hold the paper tight. Now, oh, I'm good at this. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Careful, That's it. Cut it there, Bumbo, yeah. Right, man, your fingers. That's it. Oh, yes, that, that, that's it, Bumbo. Oh, there. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, George. <laughs> right, Bumbo, whilst I wash down the old paintwork, ready for repainting, you can paste the paper. Oh. Paste the paper. Hit you with some paste, Jimmy. <laughs> you can get bungled. You want to be more careful what you're doing with the paste brush. <laughs> Sorry, Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what are you laughing at? <laughs> when it was very funny, Jimmy. Really, <laughs> right, here we are. Some yellow paint and blue paint. Should look very nice in here. Oh, Jeffy, oh, Jeffy, why have we got all those different brushes? Different brushes? Well, you see, George, you need different sizes for different jobs. Oh, do you? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. I mean, I could have told you that, yes. Y you need big brushes for big jobs and little brushes for little jobs, yeah. Oh. Well, that's nearly right, Zippy. Yeah. But let me show you what I mean. Now, if I'm going to paint the door here, I'd use a large brush that. But if I want to paint the door frame, I use a small brush. Hmm. Why? Why? Yes. Well, if I use the large brush, George, see, the paint will go on the wall as well. Yeah, well, it will anyway, if you ask Bungle Bums to do it. <laughs> Don't be so mean. Now, Bungle's doing a very good job. Yeah. I certainly am. Oh, oh, I've pasted the paper, Geoffrey. Now what do I do? You have to hang it. Oh. Hang it? What? Part of the line to dry? <laughs> no, Zippy. No, when people say they're going to hang the paper, they mean they're going to put it up on the wall. Oh, oh that sounds easy. 
Well, it's not as easy as it looks, Bungle. Oh. Be careful, won't you? Oh. Be careful, Bungle. Oh. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, look at him. Look at him, George. Oh. He's getting all sticky. Oh. He's got to be dope now. <laughs> oh, it's great, that is. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, you've done a good job there, Bungle. <laughs> to the top. And do you know what he found? He found some bananas. Yeah. Ooh, that is good. If he found there the bananas, that was good. No, no, I think I'll paint the inside in yellow. Oh, yes. Can you pass me a, a small paintbrush with yellow paint on, please? Wait, 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 oh, oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, yes. Hey, on, Jeffrey. Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yes, I found the monkey. Found. No, no, no. No, I said a small paintbrush with yellow paint on. What? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Yes, yes. You see, George got it wrong. Y y I did? Yeah, yes, yes. Up uh, right. I'll get this. That's it. There we are. There we are, Jeffrey. Yes. Jeffrey. God, yes. Well, yeah. No, 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 no. It is a small paintbrush, but it's got blue paint on. I want yellow paint. <laughs> you got it wrong that time, Jimmy, didn't you? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. I didn't, you see. I was just testing to see if Jeffrey knew the difference between blue and yellow. Jeffrey, will you hurry up and please pass me a small paintbrush with yellow paint on it? Oh, uh, uh, yes, Jeffrey. Uh, certainly. There. Che oh, oh, Jeffrey! Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey! <laughs> After all, we all make mistakes, don't we? And it's the first time you've ever done any wallpapering. But listen, just try to remember to be a little bit more careful next time. <laughs> oh, 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 Jeff, 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 Jeff that, that's the telephone, Jeff. Yes, thank you, George. I'll just pop downstairs and answer it. Oh. That's funny. Oh, where's the door? Oh. The, the door? Who? Well, well, is it, is it, is it, is it uh, 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 over there? No, uh, no, it's over there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, it can't be. It's got to be somewhere over here. Yeah, can't we? Uh, yeah. You know what? Jeffrey, Jeff, Bunker Bunch has papered over the door. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Bunker Bunch, oh. you are silly. <laughs> oh, can you find it? Yeah, there it is, look there. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah, yeah. It stopped. 
<laughs> oh, dear. I suppose if it's really important, they'll phone back, won't they? <laughs> Never mind, Bungle. Better luck next time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That, that, that is funny, Bungle. I mean, papering over a door. I mean, that is really funny. In fact, I think it's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, Zippy, that's even more funny. Oh, oh what, what's that, Jeffrey? What's that? We've got to tidy away all that mess, haven't yes, we? Yes. And just for a change, yes. you're going to help us. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid it's time to go now, but we'll see you again soon, I hope. Yes. Take very good care, won't you? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Right, come on, you three. Let's clear all this mess up. Oh, all right, Jeffrey. Yeah. you to the shops. Now, don't forget, what has a bonnet, <laughs> a boot, and carries you to the shops? Well, the answer is, of course, sorry, the answer is, of course, a car. Good, eh? The car has a boot and a bonnet, and it carries you to the shops. Right. Now, 
Now getting the hang of it, we'll try one more to make sure you really know what we're talking about. And here's a good one. Ha-ha! <laughs> what has uh, a tail, two wings, and flies? <laughs> what has a tail, two wings, and flies? Got it? Know the answer? Yes! You're absolutely right. The answer is, of course, an aeroplane. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> See, look. A tail, two wings, and flies. I'm sorry. Good, eh? Right. Well, now we all know what we're doing. See what you make of this one. Hey, diddle diddle, we're solving a riddle. It's jolly good fun to do. And by the way, whatever we say, maybe a bit of a clue. Hey, diddle diddle, we're solving a riddle. It doesn't take very long. But we must be sure that we solve it before we get to the end of the song. Great. Now, pay attention, everyone. What has four legs? Four legs and four feet. Four legs. And four feet. Ah. Ah. Two arms. <laughs> two arms. Two, two arms. arms. <laughs> A back. <laughs> back. <laughs> A back. And last but not least, a wooden bottom. <laughs> wooden bottom. Oh, wooden bottom. Right. Right, there we are then. What hands? Four, four legs, legs, four feet, two arms, arms a back, and a wooden bottom. bottom. Right, off we go. It's time to solve the riddle. Ha-ha! Here we go. Oh, we good. Ha-ha! Ah! <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Right. Four legs, see? Uh-huh. Right. Yes. A back. There we are. And last but not least. Two off. Right. Well, did you guess? The answer was a chair. Hey, diddle diddle, we finished the riddle. It finally all came clear. We knew very well that it wasn't a shell or a bottle of ginger beer. Hey, diddle diddle, we finished the riddle and everyone's feeling fine. We can honestly say it's a wonderful day. And we all had a jolly good time. Another chair over here and a desk. They're made out of dice and dominoes, covered in black and white dots. Well, they're not like me and you. No, they really like having spots. <laughs> There's a six and a five, a four, a three, and a two, and a. <laughs> oh, dear me. I've just spotted Summit. That's not where it's meant to be. <laughs> Someone must have stolen it. I wonder who's to blame. Might be a dice or a domino from another game. <laughs> We're going to find the culprit. We'll have to search the lot. I think we'll find that one of them has got an extra spot. <laughs> There'll have to be a meeting of every game in the land. I'd better put a notice up so they'll all understand. Mm. All games will meet here at eight o'clock on the dot. Don't <laughs> be a spot of bother for anyone who's not. <laughs> Important. This is a meeting that no one's allowed to miss. One way or another, we'll get to the bottom of this. We're going 
to make a jigsaw, jigsaw, jigsaw. Going to make a jigsaw just for you. Going to make a jigsaw, jigsaw, jigsaw. You can make a jigsaw too. Here's a corner piece, that's the way to start. There are lots of lumps and bumps, so it doesn't fall apart. Don't forget the other bit, now let me see if this piece fits. We're making a jigsaw, 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 making a jigsaw just for you. Making a jigsaw, 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 you can make a jigsaw too. If I fit another piece, then very soon we'll see exactly what the picture on the jigsaw is meant to be. And I wonder whether these two pieces fit together. of you. So if we fit this one, the jigsaw puzzle will be done. We finished our jigsaw, 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 finished our jigsaw just for you. Finished our jigsaw, 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 you can make a jigsaw too. When there's a piece missing. I mean, you, you haven't finished the puzzle, have you, till the last bit's gone in? Oh, there's always that one piece that you just can't find. Oh, yeah, I know. It's always the same. Every one of our jigsaws has got a piece missing. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I wonder where they go to. Well, <sighs> maybe they're all kept in a secret place, hidden in a dark and dusty dungeon. Where no one's ever dared to go. Except us! Tonight, we shall go on an expedition. Yes, an expedition to discover the secret of the missing pieces. When the moon lights in the dark night, we will appear to find the pieces of the puzzles that always disappear.
like a dream when you live in the land of games. There's snakes and ladders, there's knots and crosses. They've all got peculiar names. You'll be lost in a world of your own when the fun and the games begin. Oh, there's nothing so nice as throwing a dice to see if you're going to win. Oh, we all live in the land of games. Their looks are fun, they're for everyone, and they've all got the peculiar name. Streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Uh, come on, Josh. I'll set you are, Bubba. We've been looking for you. We're going to play a game of I Spy, and we thought you might like to join in. Zippy, I'm not very good at I Spy. That's why you should play, George, so you can practice. All right, but you'll have to go slowly, Zippy. Oh, Bongo will help you, won't you, Bongo? Now, we all take turns, and I go first, right? <laughs> you won't get this one. Yeah. I spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter B. <laughs> get, give up, George. Get, get, give up. Yeah. You said you wouldn't get it. Uh, do, do you give up, Bongo? It, it, it's not b banana, is it? A banana? Banana? Yes, yeah, because that begins with B, doesn't it, Bungle? <laughs> Where can you see a banana? I mean, I can't see a banana. There's no banana here, is there, Bungle? <laughs> but Bungle? I said that there's no banana here, is there, Bungle? What's the matter with him? Why, why doesn't he answer? Bungle! Hello! B -b Perhaps you've upset him. Me? Upset him? I never upset anybody. Don't be silly. Hey! Bungle Bonds! Oh dear, perhaps there's something wrong with him. There must be something wrong with him. Hello, everybody! Well, he he hello, Jeffrey. And when we tried to play I Spy, I mean, I was winning, of course. But but Bungo won't play. He, he won't talk to us. Of course he will, George. Won't you, Bungo? Bungo? There you are. Oh, come on, this is silly, Bungo. Hello, Bungo! It's Jeffrey! Oh dear. Look, why don't we all shout his name? Oh, yeah, yes, that would do it. Yes, yes, yes. Good idea, yes, good idea, George. You as well, after three. Ready? One, two, three. Bungo! <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. I didn't see you there. I was practicing. Practicing? Yes, I have to keep practicing, George. Because practice makes perfect, doesn't it, Geoffrey? Well, but yes. but just, just a minute, Bungle Bugs. What are you practicing? Well, well, the piano, of course. I, I, I can't see a piano. Of course you can't, because there isn't one. <laughs> you don't need a piano to practice, George, do you, Geoffrey? Well, no, Bungle, but it would be better if you did practice on a piano. All right. Good idea. Oh, that is a good idea, isn't it, Zippy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Is a balloon zip? Is it begins with the letter B? No, 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 it isn't. P -p Pardon? I said no, no, it isn't. B but it does zip it. What? B -b begins with the letter B. What, what does? Balloon. Well, I know it does. Well, there you are, then. But George, George, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. I, I just can't hear you with all that. Now I'm not surprised you can't. Bungle! Bungle! Yes, Zippy? Could you stop, please? Oh, oh, I can't stop. I've got to keep practising, because practice makes perfect. Isn't that right, Geoffrey? If you say so, Bungle. You see? Oh, no! <laughs> well, Bungle... Look, I know you've got to practice. Well, of course I do. But, Bungle, it's true that if you practice, you'll get better. Oh, good. But, Bungle, look, Zippy and George are trying to play and trying to read the newspaper. Oh. It's very hard to concentrate if you practice all of the time. But you said I should practice. Yes, but not in here. It's a dreadful noise anyway. Well, all right, then, if you feel like that. I'll go and practice somewhere else. Yes. Well. Oh, Bungle, there's no need to be like that about it. Oh, it's all right. I know when I'm not wanted. Check. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think we've upset him. Yeah. I think you're right. If Bungle keeps trying, Jeffrey, will he get better at playing the piano? Oh, yes, George, he's bound to. Yeah, well, he can't get worse. <laughs> well, it doesn't happen straight away, Zippy. You know, sometimes it takes a lot of time and a lot of practice to be able to be good at something. Well, like me and the I Spy game, Geoffrey. Well, how do you mean, George? Well, well I've been practising for ages and <laughs> I think I've got it now. <laughs> You've been practising I Spy? Yes, and I know what it is that begins with a beam. <laughs> oh, you do, do you, clever clogs? Uh, what is it, then? <laughs> well, you ought to know, Zippy. Well, of course I know. You know what it is that begins with B? Well, of course I do. I mean, I thought of it. <laughs> I bet you don't know. Look, don't be silly. It's Bungle that begins with B. <laughs> Just what I thought. <laughs> Just what I thought. Bungle. <laughs> now, it's my turn. To I spy. I spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter Q, Q, Q. Q? Yes. Quiet, quiet, quiet. <gasps> quiet, 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 quiet. Oh, no! no. Bongo! I just thought I'd do some extra practice, Geoffrey. And I was so excited about playing that I couldn't sleep. Yeah, neither could anyone else. It's an awful noise, isn't it, George? <laughs> so easy, be I, I can't hear you. I've got my earmuffs on. Yeah, well, take them off. Pardon? Take them off, George. I said it's an awful noise. There's no need to shout. Ooh, the piano's a bit loud, Zippy. Oh, no, George. Bungle! Now, listen, I know you want to be able to play the piano really well, though, don't you? Well, of course I do, Geoffrey. That's why I keep practising. But Bungle is late. We want to go to bed. Now, please stop. Oh, but I'll 
never get it right. Oh, yes, you will. Because, listen, I've arranged for you to have piano lessons. Lessons? That's right. There's a lady coming at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to give you your first piano lesson. So come on, off to bed. Otherwise, you won't be up in time. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Night, everyone. Oh. Good night, Jeffrey. Good night, Jeffrey. <laughs> Piano lessons. Oh, now I'll be really good. A real piano player. Come on, wake up! Oh, 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 Jeffrey! I had a lovely dream. I dreamed I could play the piano really well. Well, you won't unless you get up, Bungle. It's nine o'clock. Your piano teacher's here. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> he was right about one thing, Jeffrey. Practice does make perfect. He's been practicing sleeping for so long, he can't wake up. <laughs> Very good, Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope his piano playing gets better after all this practice. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be the piano teacher. I'm sorry I'm late. That's all right. And you must be bundled. Mm. I understand you want to learn to play the piano. Oh, yes. More than anything else. I've been practising already. Haven't I, Geoffrey? He certainly has. <laughs> but I don't seem to be getting any better. Oh, it takes a bit of time, Bungle. Being good at something, like the piano, doesn't happen straight away. Oh. But you were right to practise because practice makes perfect. Uh, that's what you said, isn't it, Geoffrey? See, Bungle, I am right sometimes. Now, why don't we get started? Oh. You show me what you can do. Oh. The lessons don't seem to be working, do they? <laughs>
This is the house that Jack built. This is the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cow with the crumpled horn. That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the maiden, all forlorn. Who milked the cow with a crumpled horn? That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the man all tattered and torn. That kissed the maiden all forlorn. That milked the cow with a crumpled horn. That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the priest all shaven and shorn. That married the man all tattered and torn. <laughs> that kissed the maiden all forlorn. That milked the cow with a crumpled horn. That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cock that crowed in the morn. That waked the priest all shaven and shorn. That married the man all tattered and torn. That kissed the maiden all forlorn. That milked the cow with a crumpled horn. That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That lay in the house that Jack built. This is the farmer sowing his corn. Who owned the cock that crowed in the morn? That waked the priest all shaven and shorn. That married the man all tattered and torn. That kissed the maiden all forlorn. That milked the cow with a crumpled horn. That tossed the dog. That worried the cat. That killed the rat. That ate the malt. That, that lay in the house that Jack built.
safe inside, that's where I'll be. <laughs> Let me in, little pig. Uh, no. Ooh. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. I'm going to build a house of sticks. Lots and lots of sticks I'll fix. The big bad wolf won't catch me here. Safe inside, no need to fear. <laughs> Let me in, little pig. No! Oh, then I'll hop and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. I'm going to build a house with bricks. They're much harder than your sticks. Sand and water I will mix. I'm tired of you and all your tricks. Mmm, let me in, little pig. Mmm, ah! then I'll hop and I'll pop and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and, and, and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed. He blow the house down? No!
<laughs> oh, where did that trainer come from? Wait till the kids see it! Living in the land of nursery rhymes Every day's like a pantomime I may work hard, but I've still got time To sing a little song for you snack. <laughs> Look at my book. Uh, uh, yes, yes, well, I haven't finished that one. <laughs> I'm supposed to read everybody a story. Most of it's missing. Well, 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 make one up then. You know, hundreds of them. Hmm, yes, I'll have to, won't I? All right, then. The bookworm's house doesn't have floors. It doesn't have ceilings. And it doesn't have doors. There he lives. All alone, inside the book, he calls his home. <laughs> um, he hasn't a bed. He hasn't a chair. Uh, um, um, uh, Margot, uh, just lots of pictures everywhere. Yes. <laughs> From the front to the back, wherever you look, there's plenty to see inside his book. The bookworm's house doesn't have floors. It, it doesn't, doesn't have, have ceilings. ceilings doesn't, doesn't have doors. Have doors. <laughs> There he lives, all alone, inside the book. I, I, I call my home. Yes. For good? Yay. Every little rabbit has a funny little habit of digging a tunnel underground. Don't go near he will simply disappear and stay there till there's nobody around. You've got to live where you want to live. Please yourself in a shell, a hole or a nest. You've got to live where you want to live. Please yourself wherever you think is best. Here's a little bird, and I expect you've heard that she lives in branches of a tree she knows it's best if she builds a nest that's where little birds should be you've got to live where you want to live please yourself in a shell a hole or a nest you've got to live where you want to live please yourself wherever you think it is best every little snail has a head and has a tail And the thing in the middle's called a shell His body fits inside it And in case he has to hide it There's room for his head in there as well You've got to live where you want to live Please yourself in a shell A hole or a nest You've got to live where you want to live Please yourself wherever you think Wherever you think is best.